The Moscone Cup is a byword for the rivalry between Europe and the USA, a transatlantic clash that features five of the very best players from each continent and throws them into one of the most intense competitions in nine ball. Only one team will emerge victorious. Trophy in hand, bragging rights secured for another 12 months. The opening match of this year's tournament provided the perfect curtain raiser to the 23rd staging of the Moscone Cup, with Team Europe securing the win in front of a packed and vocal home crowd. A dominant 5-2 victory then sees the hosts register the first point in the race to 11. The USA now turn to two of their most experienced players, as Shane Van Boning and Rodney Morris take on Mark Gray and Albin Ocean in the opening doubles match of this year's Cup. Thank you, race to five. First right, USA to break. Commentary comes from Jim White and Jerry Forsyth. He's got a ball down on the break. Will he have a shot at the one ball? I believe he does. Scotch doubles. Another thing that these two will have to think about, as will Team Europe, with Mark Gray being left-handed. Got to be a little careful how you play position when you know your partner doesn't play the same hand as you. Push out, Cole. Well, the push out puts the person pushing out at a disadvantage uh, because the man coming in has his choice. He can take the shot or he can give it right back. And I bet you Rodney might get this one back. You just want to, you just want to hit it thin, yeah? No. He looked, he looked over the wrong shoulder for his partner there. Well, they're going to take it on, play it safe. Well, he's not going to be terribly thrilled with that because Shane can see the ball. But uh, what can he do with it? I'm not sure it slides past the seven. The two most experienced players on Team USA. You know, Van Boning has too many options here, too much to think about. A lot of different safeties available, only one shot. Pretty sure there's no clear path to that one. Might be able to see it, but he can't pocket it. Yeah, he can just grab an edge. The only danger here, if he does try and flick the edge of it, is trying to avoid the double kiss, and I don't see how he can do that. I was going to say, I, he's going to kiss that ball Extension if he tries to call. bank it away. Yeah, missing the double kiss here is the big danger. Well, did it work out? Nope. Rodney's got a straight in shot on the one ball. Distance there though, and this kind of crowd, your nerves will hurt you on distance. And it looks like that eight, nine is dead set into the corner, Jerry. Yes, it does. Sorry, he's taking his job. Yeah, dead set. So whoever pockets the seven in this rack, almost assured of winning it. And that was a great opening shot from Morris there. Well, 
Got to do a little work on this shot, but not a whole lot. And Jim, you know, once he puts that five ball down, he could drive the six into the eight ball. Yeah, I don't know if this oh. is going to be any good. Short of speed. A little shake of the head from Van Boning. You might be able to see the five. Definitely can't pocket it. Not into the intended one anyway. Quiet down, please. Thank you. Went for the bank shot. Well, he was trying for a two-way shot there, but he sent the five ball too far, too close to the corner pocket for that. Missed opportunity, though. Very thin cut if Mark Gray elects to try and pocket this five. If this is me, Jerry, I'm playing safe. I don't know. I think he's going to take, take on the cut, but he missed it, and he's going to scratch. No. Tough shot. Very tough shot, and he was queuing from right under the cushion. Morris already showed us one good open shot. Now he's shown us another. But once again, it's not ideal position. No, these, he's leaving tough shots. They're leaving each other tough shots. Now he's dead. And a lot of that, of course, is the way the table lays out for them. But you've got to get in a rhythm, and it's hard to get into a rhythm when every shot is tough. Good shot there. Didn't hit, didn't break up that 8-9. No, Morris knows. Just knock the 7 in. And this rack will be theirs. Rodney Morris, by the way, was inducted into the Billiard Congress Hall of Fame this year, along with Belinda Bearden, the famous lady player. And Van Boning takes the first mark in this match for Team USA. Just when the USA needed a lift, Shane provided it. Welcome back to London's Alexandra Palace for the 23rd staging of the Moscone Cup. It's Europe against the USA. The Europeans have secured the first point of the tournament, but in match two, it's the experienced American pairing of Shane Van Boning and Rodney Morris who have claimed the opening rack in the race to five. Commentary comes from Jerry Forsyth and Jim Weich. Rack number two. Well, the nine moved a little. And he made two balls on the break. Carl Boys, box office boys in attendance here. Part of the winning side last year. Here to support all his friends. Yeah, Carl's just opened a new club and he's got a new baby. There's a lot of stuff going on in Carl's life. Tight little cut down the rail. Oh, but he's sure not happy with the shape he left. Yeah, thin cut on the four, and it's taking the cue ball away from the five. Just don't see any value here. I don't either.
I would say send the four into the five and stop it there and send the cue ball all the way up table. But Extension. if you Extension accidentally call. make the five, you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I just can't see any value in trying to cut this in. He's got the extension on his cue, so he's trying to cut it in. Oh, but see, that's the problem that you were talking about, Jim. He has left Mark Gray nothing. He's never mind nothing, Jerry. He's left his partner in trouble. That was a tall order. It's a very aggressive game is nine ball, but you've got to be able to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Good shot. Going for the Alvin safety. likes it. Well, I think Mark does too. Make the seven or hit it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might make the seven. Try to hit a full. He's got plenty of time calling for his extension. He wants to be sure. Well, he's looking at his point of contact and kicking at the five. Yeah, where he was pointing on the rail, he would be hitting the five thin toward the seven ball. Nope. And there's a scratch, and with ball in hand, Europe's got a road map to get out this rack. Start a clock. That was good safety from Mark Gray. That manufactured this chance for Team Europe. You can't see them failing, 15. looking at the way the balls are situated. I think Shane looks pretty comfortable in his chair. He knows he's going to be spending a little extra time there. Boy, from this angle, it looks like he's going to have to nudge that nine. Maybe you can get past it. Oh, yeah. Not a whole lot left to do here. Draw back right about where he held his cue, right near the side pocket. I think Rodney and Shane, they're looking at a 1 1 score line. That was the safety shot that provided the scratch. Just got it a little too deep. And in the end, the easy nine. Thank you. Good, good. Rack three. USA to break one rack each. Oh, our first dry break. Yeah. That fucking good too. Now can the one slide into the side pocket or is it blocked? Uh, the rack was tough. Was it? What do you think? I think yeah, he's blocked no, from the side. Six, yeah. I mean the the one for the six. No, I was thinking the one. 
cross, but I think the six is in the way. Wow, that's tough. I fancy the one down there, there right over here. And wide ball, very yeah. soft, like yeah. maybe a good kick. You yeah. want to play it? Yeah, you can play it. Well, I'll play it. I don't mind. You hear him working it out. You got the better okay. speed control. Let's go for it. Just trying to lay the cue ball behind the six. Well, he's flicked the six. Didn't didn't stay behind it. I think the way he played that, Jerry, he was trying to avoid the six, get the cue ball back behind the four and the eight. Yeah, he said the six was in his way. And now Shane has a full ball. And that's actually cuttable into the corner pocket, but that's one heck of a tough shot, and there's no way to get shape that I can see. No, nope, doesn't look like he's going for a cut. Safety. And he just slumped his shoulder, so he didn't get it. Yeah, he might have left a bank shot here for Albin. Not a very good effort from Van Boning. And I think it's fair to say there haven't been many from his back arm as yet. And well, you know, Shane has said that he just doesn't play up to his standard in the Moscone Cup, and it's always kind of a mystery to him. And he made a swear to himself that he was going to play to his standard this year. So far, we haven't seen that. Great shot from Alvin Ocean. Perfect bank shot in perfect shape. Although, there's going to have to be a lot of right-hand spin on this ball to get down for the three. You better go around the world. There's the bank again. But you can see the cue ball is going to be moving away from the three ball just ever so slightly. I guess he could just slow roll it and take a thin cut. Now he tried to work it back and that'll work. Not easy, this. No, but he's lucky that the ball is not on the rail. So he's got a little room for error here. Well played. Oh, boy. 4-8 combination. A lot of bad things can happen on the combination shot. He's got to make the eight ball and still get shape on that four. Fifteen. Four will be moving toward the head rail, and the cue yeah. ball is going to be and moving toward the side pockets. Ball. Be interesting to see how he plays this. Yeah, not his best effort. Didn't really hit that with any conviction, did he? No, not really. Yeah, but shot, yeah. it was it was a tall order shot. Going for the bank shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to bank this into the bottom left corner as we look. And being right-handed, he's going to be able to take the cue ball over the right-hand side. He could even find cover if he misses this. Yeah. But he didn't. And look at the shake to the five. And listen to the crowd. Well, the European team said they were dripping with confidence this year. And that confidence is serving them very, very well. Yeah, the bookmakers made them a five to two favorite to retain the Moscone Cup for the seventh year running. Huge favorites. Of course, this is short race nine ball and strange things can happen there. In smaller towns. Yeah.
Wow. You would never have expected that from the man who won the World Nine Ball Championship this year. But this is exactly the break that Team USA needed to stay in this. First real sign of weakness. And Morris and Van Boning capitalize. 2-1, they lead in the race to five. Welcome back to the opening day of the 2016 Moscone Cup. Europe made the better start, taking the team game 5-2, but despite levelling it at one apiece in match two, they now trail the US 2-1. Mark Gray and Albin straight back at the table. With the break, one into the side. They'd love a good look at the balls here to erase the memory of that last rack. Well, he's not going to have a road map. That two ball is blocked from its pocket by the six. You can take a look at the way they set up here. You see the two is going to roll right up in front of the six. Now, he can hit that two ball. He can bank it. He can play a safe, but he sure can't make the easy shot. Shane Van Boning, a very interested observer in this shot. This could turn the table back over to America. But will they have a shot? Well, they can hit it, but I wouldn't call that a shot. Yeah, if I'm Mark Gray, when I come to the table after this, I'll be happy if I can see the two. There's every chance here for Shane to lock him up. Try and lay that cue ball right in behind cover up there. Extension, Extension call. Big chance to drop this behind the six and seven top left. Yeah, this is where America has been rolling half a ball too far and leaving a shot. And he came out of that, that safety. He got the safety on this end, though. Yeah, but he won't be happy with that, Jerry. If Mark can hit, and he can, the edge of this two, he can take that cue ball right back up towards the six and seven again. That was a miss hit from Van Boning. It was, and it was bad. I mean, he's three balls away from where he wanted that cue ball to be. And Morris could be in trouble. Yes, he could. Oh, yes, he is. Morris has a tall wall to climb. Well, we know he'll be kicking. Not a terrible result, but uh, he's not, Albin is not hidden from that two ball. And you know how he can bank. Well, he won't be banking here, Jerry. He's going to lay that to the middle diamond to the bottom cushion and again try and get that cue ball behind his choice of color up near that corner. But he ran into the seven instead of hiding behind it. However, I still think Shane, yeah, Shane's going to have to be kicking a game. See, right now, Team Europe, though, they're the ones with the initiative in this rack. America needs a good kick. Shot. That's it. Whoa. That would be it. Now every chance for them to regain the initiative, even with a good safety here from the three. 
Put the cue ball here, but might make it by accident, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, spin the three ball down here and come right here. Okay. Well, we haven't seen a jump shot yet. Yeah, but what's he going to jump into? All he can jump to is a crazy bank or a risky safety. Should I get a jump cue? Is it jump cue yet? Well, Albin thinks he should jump, and so does Mark. They're going to have to call an extension. They just did. Close to a fantastic shot. He thought it was in. So did I. Just quiet down, please. Now, in the last rack, we saw Europe take a shot on like this with a long rail bank, but I'm looking for another safe. Good containing shot from Van Boning here. But a chance, Jerry, a chance. He may be able to get this three off the cushion. And if he plays this with enough pace, but he's definitely trying to make this three off the left-hand cushion. 18. I think there's every chance for him to knock this in. I do too, it's there. Darren loves it, no emotion. But he'd love to see a few more replays of shots like that. One great pool shot there. Now all Mark has to do is draw back for the five. And he's left his partner a little angle, get closer to the six as well. And he's left the right angle on the six for the cue ball to float out toward the middle of the table and have an easy shot on the seven. And with that, an easy out. You know, with that short snooker stroke and the cue that Mark Gray uses, anything in the open, he rarely misses. Well, he'd, be li he'd like to be close to straight in around the side pockets. And he's right there, right where he wants to be. Eight and the nine will go in the same corner pocket. I think Mark's pretty confident that Alvin isn't going to miss this nine. <laughs> It was a great shot, laying the foundation to winning that rack from Alban Ocean. Great shot from Ocean there. Always looked like it was a chance, but the position at the Alexander Palace, all business. Nothing down yet. It's dry. 
But the one ball has three balls between it and the cue ball. Yeah, another look. Second dry break, both of them from Team USA. What do you think? Well, it's too far to jump. Can't leave the cue ball up there because I'll bank the one. No. Um, 27 seconds. Next, yeah. yeah, just where to push. You want to push into a jump? This is tough, Jerry. Extension call. Yeah, this is not a good place to push. Yeah, Mark knows it too. Yeah, you want to play the push out? If he gives it back, you have to play the okay, one. Yeah. Yeah. Push. Push out, Cole. Well, they leave the long straight one. to the crowd punishing every mistake that comes from Team USA magnified. Well, they may be getting excited a little too early. Yeah, the one ball is going to go down, but that two ball is right up against the side rail with nothing but banks available. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be just a containing bank shot, Jerry, not attacking. Just trying to leave the cue ball right where the two is. The two off, both cushions, and back towards the middle of the table, leaving the cue ball behind the eight. Good call, Jim. And good shot, Mark. Yeah, Shane's contemplating a jump here. Fraught with danger. He's going back for his jump cue. Boy, that ball's going to be bouncing when it Extension. comes into that two ball. Extension, it's almost got to go over two balls here, Jerry. Looks like it's got to go over the six and the five. Yeah, now there's a shot where you jump over the six, the ball hits the table, bounces up and goes over the five. But if he tries to clear the entire five ball in one leap, that cue ball could go off the table. Foul stroke. It's far from easy. Start a clock, please. But he did. He did try to get over the five as well. Ball in hand. Welcoming Team Europe now. Twelve. Eight. Well, they've handed Shane one tough situation after another. And I imagine they're doing a pretty good job of frustrating the young man. Yeah, not a lot of conversation between those two and normally very affable Rodney Morris. Doesn't want to be too straight. It's perfect. Yeah, he's got just the angle he needs now. Like here? Yeah. Yeah, here's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, blue spot's good. 
10 seconds. I'm a, I'm cool either way. Again, telling you about his snooker background is Mark Gray, blue spot. If you said that to the pool players, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. Well, he's got to bring the cue ball back down the other side of the side, this side of the side pocket. And in fairness, neither did Albin Ocean know what he was talking about because that cue ball is nowhere near the blue spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot. They love it. The crowd love it. And that's why they call it English. Watch this cue ball. Just spinning off that side cushion, sitting pretty for the six. Got to avoid the nine. And he does. He's got just the angle now again. Yeah, top it in great got, shape on the final nine ball. Just got to be a little careful with this eight. Looks uh, a little similar to the nine he missed, Jerry. So just got to be a little careful. Welcome back to London's Alexandra Palace for the 2016 Moscone Cup, where Europe have taken the last two racks and now lead 3-2 in the race to five. It's Europe with the break, and your commentary comes from Jim Weich and Jerry Forsyth. Scratch on the break from Albin, and America has ball in hand now. And not a bad table to look at. Start a clock, please. No, that was the one thing wasn't kicked in either. The one thing that Europe had to guard against is just a rush of adrenaline. Yeah, not a very good shot. Looked like the table just kind of turned on him a little bit, but in fairness, it was the wrong pace. Yeah, shape on the five now is really tough. They get to here. If they can get through the five ball, the rest of the table is a piece of cake. Extension cold. Yeah, just where Rodney showed Shane, that's all he can do. Follow through and just leave a path to the five. Well, he's done that. Rodney has a shot into the side pocket. But he's queuing over a pocket. Again, the crowd won't let him forget. 
combination here from Mark Gray. Five onto the six. Should leave the five next. Boy, the Moscone Cup shows you there are no errors allowed in nine ball. Not at this level. Yeah, Mark didn't look happy, but looks like he can cut this five into the side pocket. Certainly our overhead perspective tells us it's on. Yeah, if he can make the five in the side, the Extension call. cue ball can go three rails and be straight in on the seven. Yeah, maybe a little deceptive from that overhead camera, Jerry. Not as easy as it looks. Apparently not. Looks tougher from that one. He made it, but he had to turn the cue ball loose, and he could wind up safe. No, he doesn't. He's got a shot. <laughs> Jerry, you're getting as excited as the fans. I love this. I just love this Moscone Cup. Well, the nine ball does have a piece of that cue ball, so he may have to shoot that seven down into the left corner. Very missable. Very missable. What a shot. What a shot and what a time to provide it from Mark Gray. I said it earlier, when it's in the open, he rarely misses. That takes Europe to the hill. They now lead our race to five. Four racks to two. They are standing on the edge, and America, well, they're a way, ways back from that cliff. And in fairness, they've shown us nothing to believe they can provide what's needed. Another example right here from Morris. Just hasn't settled in yet, has the rocket. Thank you, Rack 7, USA to break, trailing four racks to two. Another dry break, Jerry, but nothing on the one. Could almost go for it. Try to get like the wide here. Yeah. Do you want me to? I don't care. Just a thin cut on the left hand side of the one. He's got to find cover because that one is going to be tracking towards that corner pocket. If he can spin this, Jerry, and get the cue ball over to the right-hand side of the table, he's got a wall of colors to hide behind. Oh, but he didn't want that bump. Great shot on the one ball. Can't take that away from him. But he got this bump off the six, which kind of ruined things on the two ball. Yeah, and the three... And the three there, not really available as it sits, so it may have to be developed. Extension. Extension call. A lot to be played yet in this rack. And European hopes. They would like this one to be the last rack of this match. Jim, can he carry him that nine? No, not from that angle. Tell you what, he's got a good safety though. If he can just feather this. I think I can get right in here. Don't think the cat room's on. I can't see, I can't see the nine from here at all. He's looking at it. Half three, spin off the cushion.
That's kind of what I thought, Jerry. And I thought it was always going to be putting the handcuffs on and how tough is this hit? I don't see a path. Unless he goes all the way down table with a lot of right English and spins it back, but I don't think he can even do that. Thanks, Murderously Paul. tough hit facing Van Boning here. If he could lock up two balls, that's what he'd be doing. But yeah. where? Take the intentional foul and lock something up. But, uh... Oh, you're kidding. Oh, my, what a hit! Tremendous shot from Shane. As good as it gets, that's the good news. The bad news, he may have bought his partner one equally tough. The Morris could be glued behind the nine as well. Well, no, this actually this goes. Yeah. No, he's gone for the safe, and I don't blame him. Yeah, he tried to keep the cue ball behind the nine, though, Jerry, and he's left Rodney an easy hit. If he could have kept that cue ball behind the nine, this one might have been tougher than Van Boning's. Well, he's made the hit. But he's left a shot, Jim. Yes, he has. Willing that cue ball behind the four. Albin knows it's a match winner if he gets it. Well, he's missed that one, but he's I can't I really can't see if that ball's in the yeah it's in the way so Shane will have to jump over it or masse around it or kick. It's going to jump over the edge of the ball. The bleeding hasn't stopped for Team USA. Yeah, unfortunately for USA, there are no pockets on the floor. The first match went to Team Europe 5-2. And this one looks like following suit. 4-2 they currently lead, everything in the open. And does the six ball pass the nine, or are they going to carom it? I see a carom on the nine. Definitely a carom. And this is not the toughest carom we've ever watched. This for the match. Yeah. No trouble for Europe at all. They've secured the first two points here of the 23rd Moscone Cup. Team Europe stamping their authority here in London. 2 nothing. A gutsy fight back from the Europeans taking the last four racks in a row has seen them add another point to the board with another 5-2 victory. Coming next, the first singles match of this year's Moscone Cup as Niels Fyatt takes on Mike Deshane. <laughs> 